welcome to episode 86 of the Wrestling Burn with your host Parksy and the zombie like zombie. What's up? Flu like zombie? <laughs> yeah. Zombie like <laughs> flu symptoms. <laughs> Gotta love the flu, brother. So, um, we'll start off the show. Your human side died Sunday in a hotel room. <clears throat> that was one of the worst feelings of my life. From all reports, you were gray. <laughs> Let me tell you a story. Went to drop uh, B off at Fat Camp. Again. And uh, we were headed home in the friggin' storm. And up towards New York, it was friggin' raining, turning into sleet and slush. Yeah. And we have to go through all these back roads of fucking New York through the mountains and shit. Well, we come up this one way where we have to go up this mountain... And we get to the top of the goddamn thing, and the fire department's there with the roadblock up, saying, oh, you can't go this way. By this time, it's like 5 o'clock, it's dark out. So we ended up having to fucking completely turn around. The guy told us to go back down near the bell tower, take a left. We went down, took a left, and it was nowhere. We did a fucking circle. <coughs> we ended up just going to this, finding a small hotel and crashing there for the night. And then I ended up getting, like, so sick, it wasn't even funny. I was on my deathbed. It was That's what I hear. I hear you. The, the wife says I was on my deathbed. <laughs> and on top of it, no cell signal, no phone signal. Not, we had no way of communicating with anybody. You got Wi-Fi, though, in the hotel. We found out we ended up having Wi-Fi. <coughs> that's rough. That's that's scary. That's like the it, shit it was that, weird, yeah. that they make a movie about, where you like end up in a small hotel, and all of a sudden you're like... You can't communicate <laughs> with anybody. And, and I, yeah... And you're getting sick? That's... My, my throat was like closed. I woke up at like a 12 midnight and my throat was like closing up. And I, I just gagged and just <laughs> lost my lunch. Just put it that way. Ugh. It's horrible. Ugh. That that really is. That sounds like a horror movie plot. <laughs> Snowstorm yeah. snows you in. And the hotel, it was not no big name hotel. It was this little motor inn. It oh, was yeah. nice, but it was in the middle of fucking nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> you were gonna get murdered. They yeah. definitely poisoned you. Like yeah. this is this is a whole. This we is ordered a... a pizza for dinner and it was absolutely horrible. That looked like dried skin chips on the top of it. <laughs> That's what it was. You ate human pizza. <laughs> there wasn't Yum a tomato man. sauce. That was blood. Human pizza. Awesome. It poisoned you. Your body. You can't become a cannibal. Yeah. Your body's still is adjusting to a zombie-like state. Hence why you're throwing up. Yeah. Um. Good thing I only did that once, though. I was yeah. I'm that was glad. Always... I don't know what I would have done without a co-host. Yeah, you'd be fucked, huh? I I kind of would. You'd get like twenty minute podcasts every week if you were lucky, and uh, I'd I'd make up an alternate personality to talk with. <coughs> I'd talk with myself the whole time. And uh, excuse me if I'm coughing the whole time. So um, yeah. Yeah, he's getting over something. Yeah. I'm glad you One of you is going to fall and die, and I'm not cleaning it up. Truth. <laughs> That's what I'd do. You know what? I'd make sound effects, or yeah. I'd record myself asking myself questions, Yeah. and then answer the questions on air. You know, I, I was thinking about that the other day. I'm like, what would happen if uh, Parks, you can't make it for a few weeks, and I'm going to have to do this myself? <laughs> so this is going to be interesting. So... <coughs> I can normally make it. The only time I can't make it normally You did is... one yourself before. I think you did one yourself. I did, I did, yeah. Um, oh, that's right. It had been like a week and a half since we had done a podcast. I was on vacation. Or, or I was going on vacation. Yeah, and our Wi-Fi shit the bit. Yeah, and you didn't have studio. Wi-Fi for like a whole week. Yeah, it was fucking horrible. It was like a 15-minute burnout episode. Yeah. So, hey, uh... Raw this week, I had the flu and I kind of... It wasn't bad. I, From what I heard, it was actually pretty good. I think I saw... I actually haven't finished it yet, to A be little honest. bit of it. I remember the X-Pac, Damien Sandow thing. That was so funny. I think that's all I saw. Triple H and Shawn Michaels came in and they were trying to get him to get rid of his monkey suit. and Yeah. That type of thing. I think that's all I saw. And I don't know if they brought him back for that. I saw... I've seen up through the Legends panel... Um, which sucked. Did I see the? I kind of saw the, the. God, it was all broken. I was on so many drugs the other night that I don't even remember because I was so. Not sick. even the good drugs too. Like just drugs. To make <coughs> it yeah, that's. I actually caught online the uh, ascension destruction. 
Huh? The Ascension getting destroyed. Did they? Yeah. By who? By all the legends. Oh, they, they did. came out with uh, an NWO was out there. Oh. NWO was in the ring. And I guess the Ascension came out. And they were going to do something. And then JBL gets up and says, I knew that, blah, blah, blah. And walked around the ring. And then tore off his shirt and it said APA. Yeah! And, uh, Farouk came Farouk out. Farouk came down. And then all of a sudden you hear the road dog and... Well, they yeah, they're, they're fighting them at Royal Rumble now. Well, yeah, they fought them. They beat the living shit out of them the other night. It's, uh, yeah, Ro- um, Road Dog and Billy Gunn against the Ascension. I hope the Ascension... If the Ascension loses... I think it's know because that... the Ascension has been so fucking bad. It's like a test match almost. Like, yeah. let's gauge where you are. Yeah, because Vince is ready to give up on him, and Triple H is, is behind him still. Yeah, I read you... something online about their freaking arguing about things. You know what, though? You know, what made them good in NXT was the fact that you gave them time to build the characters. Yeah. I think they thrust, with all the vignettes and everything, they kind of thrust them into such a spotlight. Well, like I said before... I've only given them three weeks. If people don't watch that, they don't have no fucking clue on who the hell they are. If they don't watch Nexus, Nex, NXT, they don't know who yeah. the NXT, they don't know who these guys are. So you're bringing them up thinking, they're probably thinking, oh, everybody, they watch this, everybody in WWE Universe knows. I I would say most people do, though. Most people, I think, would watch NXT. If they have subscribed. Yeah. But I think they did it all wrong. I really think they needed a manager. That type of group needs a manager. Yeah. The way they did... They're bringing them out like the Road Warriors, like uh, Demolition... And them spouting off saying they're better than them was a bunch of crap. Though All those guys started with managers. They had that mouthpiece that could sell them. You know who I think would actually be a good manager for the Ascension if they could bring them in? Raven. That would be decent. That, see, that's that's a good pairing. Raven's yeah. weird and out there. and He's got no hair. He's all gray. Yeah, he is all gray now. But I'm sure he would uh, He can still up. talk, though. He can still talk. I don't think he needs to grow it out. He just needs to talk. Right. Well, yeah, it'd be like um, not a Paul Heyman type character, but uh, um, I forgot the guy's name. Paul Bear? No, <clears throat> I was gonna say Paulie Dangerous. That's, Which is also Paul Heyman. That's Paul Heyman. Um, <coughs> who are you thinking? Who do you manage? Um, he managed the Road Warriors back oh, in the day. Oh yeah, the, uh, the guy with the newspaper. I forgot um, what his name is. So. Yeah, I can't think. I always try and think of it too. He's also the one that brought out DOA. Yeah. I can't think of his name, though, for the life of me. Did you see that uh, Triple H broke character the other night on Raw? Because he it's fired some news. guy's dad. Suppo- or it was a stage thing, but he said he was fired. And the kids started crying. He was crying about the WWE. He, I mean, he was crying about John Cena getting his ass kicked in the ring. Was he? Yeah, the kid was sitting behind the... Um, Announce table. Triple H was sitting there watching John Cena get his ass kicked by everybody in the ring. And the kid was fucking bawling. And Triple H went on and started hu- patting him and hugging him on or whatever and saying something to him. Kind of broke character. Stupid. John Cena ended up winning in the end. And Sting came down. and From what I heard, I didn't even get to see Yeah, it. I heard Sting came down and said something. and Surprised they didn't set a match for Royal Rumble with him. He's going to be in the Royal Rumble. You think? Surprise entries on the Royal Rumble. All right. So I was actually going to bring this up. You get one surprise entry that's not being talked about. So you can't, no DDP, no no Dudley Boys, Boys. no Sting. You got to think of one guy you think will be, and it has to be obviously like a legitimate person, you think will be a surprise entrant. I think I have a pretty solid one. I'm saying Shelton Benjamin. He does kind of like what Y2J did a few years ago. Or wait, well, he won't do the be in the same spot, but like where Y2J came in at number one at the Royal Rumble and kind of I forget how, two years ago. Jake the Snake. Jake the Snake. He is, wanted that one more time in the ring. And he's not being talked about that. And if DDP is gonna be, because that's another big rumor, is DDP is gonna be in it. Could be one of them, too. If it, well, I think if it's one, it could even, be both. You know, and I'd say Scott Hall, but the way he was moving in the ring the other No, night, he... Even the way I, he walked into the room yeah. with Kevin Nash in that segment backstage, he can't... He's having trouble getting around. Yeah. The problem is, he's so big, <coughs> and he's 
and he's got so much stress on his knees, especially yeah. from all the years in the ring. Not to mention, you the think they'll give Kevin Nash another they, spot because they fucked him by fight because he was pissed off. He was pissed that he got fired. He didn't get fired though. Well, whatever, let they go or whatever. It and then they unsuspended it. Did he? Yeah, that's why. Well, he yeah, was on the I, thing. I saw that. But yeah. yeah. I don't know. I'm not <coughs> sure. Um, <coughs> damn it. I missed a Roman Reigns humiliating SmackDown moment. Um, he said Andre the Giant never... I'm trying to read this. Hit, uh, hit the top one. Hit that. Uh, That's how you get it on the screen. I don't know how to work your touchscreen computer. Uh, let's, see. let's see if this is even going to pull up. Oh, is this the quote that he said? Uh, I saw something. Andre the Giant never had to remind people he was the Giant because he had the Giant in his name. Yeah, probably um, something like that. Oh, never referred to himself. Yeah, see, it is. Um, According to reports, he said Andre the Giant never referred to himself as a Giant. Um, yeah. Yeah, it is, see? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Andre the Giant never called himself a giant. Andre the Giant. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's... I find it actually, like, really funny. Yeah, it's... Because he's dumb. He's it's really... Pretty, pretty stupid. Dumb. Uh... <laughs> I don't know why they think that <coughs> he's been cutting stupid promos all since he's been back yeah I don't understand what the hell he's doing or why they're even doing anything like that with him did you hear about the uh, somebody post posted a fake picture of a Wrestlemania poster yesterday really they took they were somewhere and there was a billboard and it was actually a Brock Lesnar uh UFC billboard from when he was the coach on the Ultimate Fighter a few years ago. Right. But they took it and edited it. So it was like Brock with the title and Roman Reigns on the other side and Sting and Triple H's face in the background. Right. But, uh, yeah, it came out to be a fake. Awesome. Oh, uh, surprise entry. Another surprise entry in the Royal Rumble is probably going to be Randy Orton. Yeah, I, I assume that, though. I... I thought he was... I think he's going to come down and cost Seth Rollins the match. Reason, reason I say this... Yep. ...is because um, I got an email the other day... About SmackDown, right? About SmackDown on Tuesday. As, as did I. And, uh... He's... He's, um... Which am I calling it for? It? It's going to be John Cena, Roman Reigns, Dean Ambrose, and Randy Orton versus Seth Rollins, Kane, Big Show, and Bray Wyatt. Yeah, I saw that. I uh, I got the same email, actually. Yeah. So where does that leave Daniel Bryant? Well, so see Daniel Bryan. Does that him winning... Does that leave him winning the, uh, the Royal, Royal Rumble? Rumble? I still think it's going to be Roman Reigns. <coughs> I do, as a company, I just don't think they want to get behind Daniel Bryan, and I don't blame them. Yeah. Not that I, I want... Can't, him main eventing WrestleMania again... I, don't, I, I can't didn't see think that. his last main event was that good. No. It drew numbers for him, but it wasn't good. I think they're going to look towards a Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns, Roman Reigns type, deal, yeah. type thing. That's if Brock drops the belt. Uh, Brock's not dropping it until Mania. So who would he fight at Mania? Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns is winning the Royal Rumble. Right. Like, I don't think there's a question. Well, I don't think John Cena's going to win his match. <clears throat> But I think, uh, like like you said, I think it's going to be a swerve I, with Paul Heyman. <coughs> they, well, they've been talking about Rusev coming down and ruining the match for Cena. Um, Roman Reigns coming, or not Roman Reigns, uh, Randy Orton coming down and ruining it for Seth Rollins. A lot of ways you can swerve the match still. Yeah. <coughs> I take it you didn't watch any... Sm